Hey everyone, welcome to another session from Bioschool. This is your educator Gayatri. Hope you all are really doing great and preparing well for your examination. So today's session, this is a continuation part of ecological rule. Uh, already we have discussed about Watchman's rule, Allen's rule and competitive exclusion principle or Gus's law. And this session is about Glogger's rule, right? So Glogger's rule, that means definitely this rule was proposed by Glogger. Lambert Glogger in the year 1833. Glogger put uh, the remark on this phenomenon in 1833 uh, in a review named Co-Variation of Climate and uh, Avian uh, Plumage Coloration. Okay, so what Glogger's rule it states? It states that animals of a given species are found to be darker or heavily pigmented in humid uh, environment okay near the equator they are heavily pigmented or darker in color in comparison to uh, the species that are present in the arid environment okay if you want to know in details about the Glogger's rule with example uh, please make sure to watch the video till the end so Glogger's rule Glogger's rule was proposed by Glogger Lambert Glogger in the year 1833 he wrote about his observation on regularities that occurs between pigmentation of feathers and furs and relationship of these colors, relationship of pigmentation of feathers and the furs with the geographic areas in which the animals lived. Okay. In this, law, this law, it states that the darkest form of a species, subspecies or race occur in the humid areas in their range okay those species are present in the dry humid condition near the equator are heavily pigmented their skin color is darker in comparison to those who are living in the colder climate okay so let's have a look on some more examples so you can um, see over here the birds that are present towards the equatorial region or where the humidity is high okay where the dry and uh, humidity is more there you find the birds with increased pigmentation they are heavily pigmented and their skin color is darker in comparison to those species that are present in the in the cold and wet environment near to the polar region right so those are present in the dry humidity dry and humidity region they have the more pigmentation they have the darker skin color in comparison to those species that are present in the cold wet climate okay so and you know this difference uh, is uh, also observed in human skin color so in human population uh, those are present towards the equator they have more pigmentation in their skin they are darker and those are present near the polar region they have lighter pigmentation in the skin they are uh, and they are lighter in color look at this picture this is about uh, merlin bird merlin bird when is present in the dry climate okay dry climate uh, or where the humidity is more in the equator region you will find uh, the feathers are pigmented at uh, dark the feathers are dark means they are more pigmented right they are heavily pigmented in comparison to the species that are present in the wet climate you can see over here this is lightly pigmented this is lightly pigmented yeah this is all about Glogger's rule hope you find this video useful if you like this video then please do share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel